everything is blue His pills, his hands, his jeans And now I'm covered Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time stumbling across this part of YouTube. My name is Day but I go by Prisma and welcome to season two of the Sims 4 Hunger Games. So the previous video to this series is going to be where I give introductions to the eight different tributes that we have that are going to be taking place in this Hunger Games series. Again, thank you to everyone that submitted a sim. Like I said before, if I did not use a sim that you had submitted, please don't feel bad because most likely I'll be doing another series of this or something like this in the future because you guys seem to enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's just so much fun to play this type of series. Um, I also went over a little bit of the rules, which I'm going to go over those again today as well. So... If you guys have any questions in regards to the rules, I'll put the main bullet points in the description down below. But for this type of thing, it's kind of easier to see it happen than explaining it, especially when it comes to the mods. I'll also leave a link to the Extreme Violence mod in the description down below, just in case you guys want to add that to your game and kind of play along with me as well. So really, really quickly, let's just go down the line of The Sims. So we have Brody Havenbrook here, Abby Knowles, Jewel Torres... Hannah Grace Lambert, Colin Gray, Rika Murphy, Emmett Marquez, I'm going to say Marquez, let's say Marquez, and Stephanie Kirby. So these are eight tributes that we are going to have. We are starting the day off bright and early. I'm just going to kind of let them do whatever it is that they want to do. I don't really have anything that they need to do right now. This first day is just going to be kind of getting everyone to meet each other. Um, everything is unlocked. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to lock this area. Uh, this is unlocked. The bathroom, I believe, is also unlocked. Yep, bathroom is unlocked. So the reward house is also unlocked. So everything is going to be unlocked for the time being. The only thing I have locked off is going to be this area here in the pool, just because I don't want anyone to die accidentally. Um, so basically, the overview of The Sims 4 Hunger Games is this is kind of the version that I have created to play. There are different ways you can play this series, um, but I have created my own kind of rule set that I have decided to follow. <laughs> So, for starters, you have to have, of course, eight sims that can be adults or young adults, no children or elders, just to give everyone a kind of fair advantage. Um, you have to create a lot that includes a reward house with all of the possible amenities, and by amenities, I mean, like, a full bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, TV, computer, anything like that. Anything that they can have for fun. You have to have a common house with five beds, which I have gone ahead and left five beds in here. You have to have three less beds than you do Sims. By that, what I mean is after the after this day, I'm going to get rid of this bench and put in two chairs as well, um, just because this is an area that they can nap. So I don't want them to have any advantage. So once I open up the bedroom, they have to run upstairs and get a bed. If they don't get a bed, that's on them. They're going to have an, a, a disadvantage when it comes to doing a challenge because they'll be exhausted. Another thing that I have locked as well is going to be the bathroom and the kitchen. Both of these rooms are going to be only be unlocked once a day. So if they don't go into it, that's on them. They can pee, their, be, pee themselves and be uncomfortable. Also a disadvantage when it comes to doing challenges. So um, you also have, a, have to have a challenge area, which I may make this bigger. I'll have to see how it looks with all eight of them in here. I didn't want to make it too huge, but I may make it just a smidgen bigger. I'll think about that, though. Um, and that's kind of the gist of what you have to have, like I mentioned. Every day at 12 p.m., we have to host a challenge. And the challenge is going to be to decide who has access to the reward house and is immune from the death round. So if they are immune from the death round and win a challenge, I lock them inside of this reward house. That way, no one can get to them when I turn on the um, extreme violence mod so that they can't be killed. So essentially, they have, you know, a free life pass, if you will. So they are locked in here until the following day. And then once uh, once it hits 8 p.m., that's when we turn on the extreme violence mod and we leave the mod on until one Sam is killed. There has been a time where, I think it was last season, where we ended up having two Sims killed at the exact same time, which is very unfortunate, but we just ended up losing two Sims. So this series could potentially go by pretty quickly, just depending on, you know, if Sims decide to kill each other at the same time or not. Once a Sim is killed, I turn the mod off. And we kind of restart the day as is. And you just kind of 
Keep doing that process until you have your final sim left, and that is the winner of the Hunger Games Challenge. So, like I mentioned before, this is just going to be a free day, nothing too crazy. Um, everyone's just kind of going to chat, hang out, all that fun stuff. There's not going to be a death round today. There will be a death round tomorrow, so it's just more of... You know, getting to know each other, see who's the weakest link, see who is maybe the toughest in the household, to uh, see who may be killed. Like, everyone's giving themselves introductions, talking about the house. Um, what's wrong with you? Why are you sad? The llama. Oh, from losing Don't Wake the Llama. Ah, okay. So how's everyone doing? You're up here taking advantage of the computer, feeling nice and confident. Oh, yeah, you guys are down here and just kind of hashing it out. I forgot this was down there, actually. I forgot there was a little dance studio. I'm probably not going to use anything with this. This is probably just going to be for them to have fun. I probably won't have any type of like dance competitions or anything like that. Because something like that, it's kind of hard to tell who actually wins. It's kind of subjective. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. But everyone seems to be in a really, really good moods. We have a bunch of awesome food over here. Which it looks like someone may have taken a few bites of things but that's not a huge deal I guess oh apparently someone left some grilled cheese on the floor I don't know why but let's go toss some of this random stuff out that we don't really need how is everyone doing you guys all right I wonder who's gonna like sleep where that's one thing I'm always interested to see is like do people like sleep near each other or anything like that looks like these girls are kind of heading it off which is good Let's see what relationships are like. They're pretty chill. Everyone is pretty equal as of right now. No one's kind of stuck out. At least for uh, uh, for Stephanie, no one's really stuck it out yet. I mean, Abby maybe. Abby might be a little bit higher. Abby and Colin are pretty high up. But Oh, look at these two. You guys are chatting it up. Uh, yep. Yeah, Jewel seems to be the lowest in this relationship panel. But I'm definitely interested to see who you guys are rooting for. If you guys have rooting for your own sim that got picked or if there's a particular sim that you guys are interested in that is part of the household. I'm definitely interested to see... Uh, who you guys are rooting for. I don't really know who I'm rooting for just yet. I still have to learn their personalities and things, so I'm, uh, I'm not really sure. But I guess we'll see. And it is, I do have, obviously, seasons, so um, I may put a thermostat in here. The only thing is, is I think if you have one thermostat in the lot, it changes everything for the rest of the lot. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's like building by building or if it's one per lot. So if you guys happen to know that, let me know. Because I won't put a thermostat in if it's one per lot. But if it's one per building, I'll put one into the uh, reward room. So yeah, if you know the answer to that, please feel free to let me know. Because I have literally no idea. Also, this part's going to be super short, like I said, just because we're just getting to know everyone and what they're up to. Ooh, look at you doing some push-ups, trying to get ahead of the competition, trying to scare some people off. Pretty smart. I mean, it looks like everyone seems to be down here. Oh, okay. Everyone else is up here. But there's no one that's kind of, like, hiding by themselves, you know? Like, everyone seems to be all in the reward room. Oh, what's wrong with you? Um, looks like he's getting good vibes, though. And it's nice because a lot of people actually have the good trait, which I thought was funny. How you have the good trait, yet you're kind of part of a murdering game, if you will. More people got on stairs, yeah. Looks like Hannah is going downstairs to get her dance on. No big deal. I mean, at least they're enjoying their first day here, you know, before they're murdered. But, I mean, that's fair, right? I wonder who the first one to die is going to be and how it's going to be. I know that there was an update to the Extreme Violence mod, and I think different, like, animations and things were added in, so there's going to be... Hopefully we'll have the chance to see those different animations in uh, in the works. A dance skill acquired. You get it, girl. Yeah, use the bathroom, guys. Use the bathroom. Drink coffee. Eat. Do all that you want to do, because come this time tomorrow, you guys will not have these luxuries. Well, one person will, but... You guys will not have access to such luxuries. Abby, where are you going, Abby? You going? To, oh, she's going to the bathroom. 
that works. But yeah, there's just like one main door and then I have individual doors for the toilets and there's just like a wall to block off the shower. It's nothing too crazy. Oh look, there's like a lemonade stand. <gasps> if only we could go outside. I believe I have, I took out the gate, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I think I took out the gate. So no one should be able to get in and then no one should be able to get out. But hopefully as long as my fence isn't missing an area, we should be good. Probably should have double checked that. But like I said, this part's gonna be super short, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here for today. So the next part is when we're actually gonna get into the killing. So if you guys are excited for this series, give the video a thumbs up, leave all of your comments down below. Let me know who you guys are rooting for. Let me know any suggestions that you guys have for some challenges for these Sims to do. Also, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will speak to you all next time. Bye guys. Everything is